Kiev, Ukraine, AP, a cyber attack left a number of Ukrainian government websites temporarily unavailable on Friday, officials said. While it wasn't immediately clear who was behind the cyber attack, a disruption came amid heightened tensions with Russia and after talks between Moscow and the West failed to yield any significant progress this week. Ukrainian Foreign Ministry spokesman Oleg Nikolenko told the Associated Press it was too soon to tell who could have been behind the attack, but there is a long record of Russian cyber assaults against Ukraine in the past. Moscow had previously denied involvement in cyber attacks against Ukraine. About 70 websites of both national and regional government bodies have been targeted by the attack, according to Viktor Zora, deputy chair of the State Service of Special Communication and Information Protection. Zora stressed, however, that no critical infrastructure was affected and no personal data was leaked. The hack amounted to a simple defacement of government websites, said Oleg Yurivyanko, a leading private sector expert and founder of the ISSB cybersecurity firm. The hackers got into a content management system they all use, but didn't get access to the websites themselves. It could be just a regular information operation, seeking to undermine the government's capability and to create an enhanced uncertainty, added D. Rivianko. It could also possibly be part of a planned hybrid attack or a longer term and more sophisticated cyber operation which is underway but has not culminated. The main question, said D. Rivianko, is whether this is a standalone hacktivist action or part of a larger state backed operation. Tensions between Ukraine and Russia have been running high in recent months after Moscow amassed an estimated 100 000 troops near Ukraine's border, stoking fears of an invasion. Moscow says it has no plans to attack and rejects Washington's demand to pull back its forces, saying it has the right to deploy them wherever necessary. The Kremlin has demanded security guarantees from the West that NATO deny membership to Ukraine and other former Soviet countries and rolled back the alliance's military deployments in Central and Eastern Europe. Washington and its allies have refused to provide such pledges, but said they are ready for the talks.